So the thing, we're gonna talk about this one and then we'll go back to the needles and talk a little bit about needles, but I wanna do an emphasis in this machine because there's a lot of misconceptions and I, and I wanna talk about why is this important and why we can talk about the calcium levels. Yes. We can talk about the, the, the cooling system and yield. Yes. We need to emphasize in those things yes. Yes. And, and saying that you want to have a high quality product. Yes. There's little options out there. This yes. is one of them. Yes. Yes. Because they're like in realistic, you have like 20 companies that are doing this, but they're not the same technology. Yes. Yes. So we exactly. need to we need to emphasize in yes. that. Okay. Yes. In the look, we talk about this machine is for meat harvesting. Yeah. What means meat harvesting? The customer could be a slaughterhouse, could be an abattoir. That means he slaughter pork, beef, lamb, and so on. He has a main deboning, and then it's the next point, the so-called zero deboning. That means you have still, I would say, uh, 30, 40 percent on meat on the bones. Could be pork, could be beef, you know, and how you can removing or getting and harvesting the meat from these bones. In most cases, the customer doing manual deboning. That means they have a staff of a team with knives in their hand and removing it. The problem hereby is, in these days, it's the same in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, the staffing. Yeah? This, this, this job is not very interesting for, for anybody in the, in the slaughterhouse and it's also not very safe because the, the knife's very sharp and you need a reliable team. Yeah? And this machine, for example, which is a mid-size machine, can have a capacity of about 1,500 kilograms per hour. This machine replaces between 10 and 15 zero deboner when you do it manually. What does it mean? First of all, this machine is faster than 10 to 15 people, more safety -ness, Yeah, You need only one guy which operates the machine. Because the machine is faster, the sanitary, that means the bacteria grow is much better. That means all the meat from the bones and everybody knows which eats a T-bone steak. Where is the best meat? Close to the bones, you know? T-bone, porterhouse, whatever. You know, it's the same with, with when you have pork. And it's the same here. And don't forget, in times like this, you know, everybody in the United States, in Europe, we have now an increasing of the material cost. That means for the consumer gets the, the material, meat, if it's sausage or whatever, gets more and more expensive. And therefore, it's machines like that, where in the past tense, nobody wants to talk about that. You do it in a, in a backyard, yeah? Now coming in the front, and therefore, Inchikstar, first time in the history, have placed this one uh, at the show at our booth. Inchikstar, using here a system, which will be then animated yeah, uh, uh, in, in your podcast, but in the end of the day, it's a linear piston system. That means we don't have a grinding system because what the customer expecting from this machine is two steps. First of all, removing of all given meat on the bones. Second, have a final product which is minced meat. Yeah? Three millimeter minced meat, which you can use in for any hamburgers and so on. You can do this with this machine. Second, very important, you have obligations, standards, you know? That means the calcium level is given by international bodies. Yeah? That means should not increase, for example, in Europe, 1,000 milligram. In the United States, FDA says 1,500 milligrams per kilogram, and this machine can underline this. So we can talk about we're talking about calcium levels. Calcium levels, yes. Okay. Every from the final product, because where is coming calcium from? From the bones. That means uh, it's not in the muscle; it's coming from the bones. And what we have here a so-called uh, a cold separation process. That means very gentle pressing. To not to hurt the product from, from the consistency, from the protein and everything. That means we have here temperature increase of only two degrees Celsius from the beginning to the end. Yeah? That means when you have a bone with zero degrees Celsius, it comes out with two degrees Celsius. That means it's inside this temperature control. Second was a set already, low calcium. This is very important because when you want to use this for human products, you know, then you have to have uh, standards which you have to fulfill. 
Yeah. Third one, which coming now more and more is, is you can use this for all kinds of, of red meat bones. That means pork, beef, lamb, deer, whatever you want. It's not prepared for poultry. For poultry, you have other systems, yeah? But uh, I give you an example. This machine can also uh, do meat harvesting from raw pork heads. This is the only machine worldwide. And I think all these, these guys which, which uh, listen to these communities knows how hard it is to manually deboning a pork yeah. head. We had a, a company that had like 10 to 12 people dedicated yeah. to yeah. trimming yeah. all the meat off of yes, off yeah. heads. Pork heads. Yeah. So, so this is like having a machine like this can save some labor. And yes. nowadays that it's so difficult to get Absolutely. people out there. Absolutely. So. Now it's so robust. You see them videos yeah, on, on that. Uh, for, for the users, you know, and this is very important, yeah. Okay, this is really like we call it a cash cow. From the cow into cash. It means every machine costs money, but here the return of investment, if you have a customer, if you have a market, it's a no-brainer. It means the investment period is below one year, yeah? Okay, we have different sizes depending on the capacity. Now that you bring that up, uh, we can touch on, to make the, the ROI, Yes. Easier, quicker. How many animals, approximately, do you have to process to make this a investment that is worth doing? For this machine, if a customer slaughtering about 600 pigs per day, then he could a possible customer. Okay. The second question is if he has a market, if he can use this by himself, if he has further meat processing, if he producing sausages or whatever, or patties, beef patties or whatever, or if he want to serve the pet food industry. Yeah. And beef? How many beef? Uh, beef, I would say, if you are doing 50 to 80 beefs per day, then we can talk about that. Okay.